finances for every ministry. We thank you, Father, that you make a way when there has been no way. You are the way maker in Jesus' name. All right, put your hand on somebody's shoulder. Lord, we just pray for one another. We thank you, Father, for blessing every department, children, television, youth, music, prayer ministries, every department of this church. We speak blessing and increase in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Amen. All right, let's give our leaders a hand clap. You may be seated. Thank you. Can we just pray one more thing? Let's close our eyes as these folks are being seated. I want to make sure that every person in this room is strong, is sure about your relationship with God. Everything I've said tonight is dependent on a real relationship with God. Only you know where you're at with Him. Sitting in church does not make you a Christian any more than sitting in a garage would make you a car. Jesus said you must be born again to see the kingdom of heaven. The new birth is the beginning of a relationship with God. And so I want to pray that every person is sure in your walk with Him. Just close your eyes with me. If you're not sure where you are with God, If you've not been born again, maybe you're not sure what it means. If you were at one time, but something has happened and you've lost your passion, you've lost that sense of a relationship with Him, I want to pray with you before we go. If you need something more, something new in your walk with God, You don't have to know what it is, but you just want something more, something new in your relationship with Him. Would you lift up your hand right now? Is there anybody that would say, yeah, Pastor, pray for me? See one over here. There's two, three, four. Anybody else that would say, yeah, I'm not sure where I am with God. Pray for me. Somebody else over here. All right, we're going to pray. We want to add our faith to yours. Pastor, do we have prayer counselors to pray with folks? If you lifted your hand, would you come and stand with me? If I could pray for you. I won't embarrass you. I'm not going to ask you to say anything. I just want to pray for you right now. And then we want to give you some things to take home with you. Would you just come and stand if you lifted your hand? Give these folks a hand clap as they come. Come on, we're going to pray together. Yeah. Good. Come on up. We just love you. We're going to pray for you. Good. I'm so glad you're here tonight. Is this home for you? You live here in London? Good. I'm glad you're here. Bless you, man. Thanks for coming. I saw a couple other folks. I know people get nervous, but you could talk with our prayer counselors who will be up here after service. I want to pray. I'm going to add my faith to yours, okay? Let's close our eyes together. Thank you, God, for these lovely folks. Today... You're doing a miracle in their lives. A new relationship with God. A deeper walk with God. We pray for them. We pray abundant life on them. In Jesus' name, amen. We just go. We're going to have some of our prayer counselors. They'll give you some things. and Just take a moment. Give them a hand clap, church. Well, thanks for letting me be with you. It's great to be back in London, Ontario with Pastor Jay and Sarah and uh, all of you. One other thing I'll just mention as I go, our Dominion College has a new mm, a focus of discipleship and uh, we're calling it Vision College. It's an intern program, it's a Bible school, it's a find your destiny school. And if anybody's interested in something like that, you want to come hang out with Wendy and I in Seattle for maybe nine months or two years. It's a one or two year program. We would love to have you. And we love Canadians. Because Seattle's pretty close, you know. We have a lot of Canadians. So bless you, folks. We love you. Have a good night.
Hallelujah. Praise God, Pastor Casey. We are really blessed. You could make some time and obey the Spirit of God and come and minister to us. Really, I heard several things God speak to my heart this evening. And I'm glad you could come. And you are always welcome. But as a congregation, we want to sincerely thank you for coming. And we will also be praying for you and your ministry. And uh, thank you. You know, when you, if God talks to you, you can jump up and obey. But when your wife talks to you in sign language, it is very it's a higher, it's a higher. higher calling it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I think once you are here, I am finished. <laughs> don't, do, don't forget tomorrow's luncheon. We are having lunch uh, after the morning service. We do have a few uh, more tickets left. We have a few tickets left. So if you... If you are interested in, in joining us for lunch tomorrow, there's someone at the foyer. They'll take um, your name and sell you that ticket. And, um, and our special guest, of course, is uh, Pastor Terry. So you want to be there. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. Normally, I always let her have the last word. But, you know, here, you know, God brought me as an Indian, but I'm the chief here, so I can continue... <laughs> to uh, speak a little more. So once again, thank you. And all of you, remember tomorrow morning, Pastor Terry Copeland Pearson will be speaking. The service starts at 10.30 in the morning. Then again, she will be speaking in the evening service at 7 o'clock. In between, the ladies are going to honor her with, uh, with a special luncheon. So I was told it is only for the ladies. So. You know, uh, but I'm a sincere man. As a pastor, I'll praying for you all. And, you know, <laughs> so uh, you all ladies have a good time. And then again, on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday uh, that is Wednesday is tomorrow. I told you sometimes I feel like Peter, but, you know. But after Wednesday comes Thursday, again, morning 10.30 and evening 7 o'clock, Pastor Terry will be speaking. So you all are welcome. Bring your friends and tell some more people. And we know uh, it's going to be... You know, God, just the message said, God begins something good, and he continues to bless those meetings, and it's going to be gooder and gooder. And uh, so you please come. And we love you all now. God bless you, and see you tomorrow morning. God bless you.